Stigger Injury Lawyers. And we fight for injured people. Live this morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. Ah, uh, yes, it is the best time of the year. Happy Monday of Derby Week as we look at some horses on the track right now. It is 6 o'clock, the Derby and Oaks horses. They'll be taking to the track from 7.30 to 7.45. They have that special time. Although uh, some of the trainers may opt to bring them out earlier. As we say, good morning to you. It's a little bit chilly. We have our hand warmers going. <laughs> Trying to get and you have an electric blanket. I have blanket. an electric blanket on my Genius. lap right now that I think was probably one of my smarter purchases. Yeah, that was a, that was a very, very good move indeed. Um, it's not going to warm up much today, huh? No, it's really not. And the wind is going to play a role in everything because it's not just the cool temperatures. It's a wind chill factor that we also have to talk about. We have meteorologist Brian Good right now at the rail, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the chilly weather we have for today. I believe, right, it's the first day of May here, and we're talking about uh, wind chills uh, here this morning. A little bit of drizzle taking place as well, and that's not going to be the most annoying part. I think the uh, the wind is going to be by far one of the bigger issues. Already here at the track, it's been busy, keeping an eye on it. The rain's not bothering the horses at all. It's just it's a too light of a rain to really cause an impact on the track for sure. All right, let's get you through the setup here today. First off, the wind advisory is out for Louisville and east all the way toward uh, the capital and headed toward Lexington. This is mainly for strong wind gusts this afternoon. It's the main key on that. At the moment, we've seen gusts roughly around 20 to 25 miles per hour, but as we know later on today, that will begin to jump back up. The latest number, in fact, coming in at 21. We're thinking about 35 to 40 for a wind gust, but hey, considering how the year has been, we're, we are professionals at high wind event days, right? 50 degrees right now, officially at Ollie International. 40s elsewhere. Certainly dressed for the 40s because that's what it feels like with that gusty wind. Been watching the radar trends. It's been a very light area, patchy drizzle moving through the area, and you can see it's pretty much focused right there on 64 and very close, of course, here to uh, Churchill Downs. We had one batch move through. A second one has arrived. You can see that green right now is right over us here at Churchill Downs, back toward areas not far from Elizabeth, Indiana. We'll be watching that move more in the south and east over the next uh, 20 minutes or so. The game plan for the next 12 hours will feature temperatures staying in the 50s all day today. We should be in the 70s. That's the normal high for the first day of May, but that's not going to be the case today. Much more on the outlook for Oaks and Derby coming up in a few more minutes, guys. Thank you, Brian. And we have our special guest here, Darren Rogers, mm -hmm. uh, the face of Churchill Downs. Uh, Ooh, that's a bad face for Churchill Downs. <laughs> no, Down. that's a great yeah. face. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. You've yeah. been uh, slammed, and mm -hmm. so you have a, we have a new uh, event coming up, 502 yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to debuting it. Uh, mm -hmm. 502 Tuesday, it's a nod to you know our area code. Mm -hmm. Wanted to celebrate the community. Um, and lots know, of great names for the races. We did. We're, we're, we had some fun with it. You know, yeah. I learned 15 years ago when I moved here that people ask, you know, one thing. Where did you go to high school? Right. And then if they give you directions, it's to places that no longer exist. So I've been wandering around aimlessly. Yeah. I've heard about all these names. But we've got races like the old Sears building, mm -hmm. uh, Jim Porter's Good Times Emporium, the Love Toy it. Tiger. Um, Lynn's, lot Paradise of, Cafe. Lynn's Paradise Cafe. So a lot of fun things. Uh, that will conjure great memories with the people of Louisville. Uh, I've got a great partnership with Christopher 2X and Game Changers, mm -hmm. some other community partners. General admission is just $5, so it's a great way for everybody in our community to take part in the Derby Week festivities at an affordable price. That's great. And for anybody who maybe hasn't been here before, what is your, your just advice to them? Just be like, hey, your first time Churchill Downs, especially on 5 Tuesday, come on in. Well, first thing I would do is log on to Kentucky Derby <laughs> parking.com because before you get here you want to be in a good mood yeah. and and you know there's so many road closures and mm -hmm. different parking lots that are closed we're shuttling people over from Kentucky Expo Center free of charge mm -hmm. park there you're dropped off right at the paddock gate so visit that but other than that I mean just enjoy it mm -hmm. there, there's such a great energy around the downs right now uh, Derby week is um, you know the most special time of year mm -hmm. it's a $400, a $400 million economic impact to our community. So we love showcasing Louisville. We love showcasing Kentucky. This is our time to shine, and 
Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to let this little rain. No. Uh, no. Not at all. Yeah. And uh, people can still come out and watch the Oaks and Derby horses train in the morning. They can so fun. until Wednesday, free mm -hmm. of charge, That's 7 terrific. to 10 a.m. Uh, just uh, come on over and uh, you'll be in sections 115 to 117. The Derby and Oaks horses train from 7.30 to 7.45. Mm -hmm. A great way to get a connection with the horse, mm -hmm. get right up on the rail. Uh, one of them might wink at you and tell you who, uh, who, who's feeling good. So it's it's a great way to do it. All right. So what have you seen? Who do you like for Derby? Yeah. Who do you like for Oak? I hate to get boring on you, but oh. I, I love uh -oh. Forte. I really do. He's a four-time grade one winner. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes you can just simplify it. He's the fastest kid on the playground. And you like uh, <laughs> uh, wet paint for Oaks then? No, actually, yeah. I, actually I like pretty mischievous. Oh, I think Brendan yeah. Walsh's filly has a good chance um, to run down wet paint. Okay. Well, thank we'll you, see. dear. Thank yeah. you. Always love Thank talking you. to you. Happy you. Yes, happy Derby. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, so we're going to continue to keep an eye on everything going on as we move forward, including with the pill pool that is going to be later on today. So you can watch that live here at Wave between 2 and 3 o'clock this afternoon as we figure out wh where the horses are going to start. Because that always plays a big role, I feel like, for a lot of people in betting and just oh, how gosh, the race yeah. is really going to turn out overall. So that's something that we'll have to be watching, those post positions being determined today as we move forward. And then, of course, that's not the only thing happening today, right? Yeah, no, we've got uh, a lot of other events, including the bed races tonight. You can watch that live on Wave. But Olivia Russell is live right now to show us this incredible bed that uh, has been put together. It's just amazing. Hey, good morning, Shannon and Tawana. Yeah, an incredible bet that they've put together. And I want to show off, this is a really impressive team here at Xeon. They have all their trophies here, best tailgate, best decorated. They've won quite a few awards, but the team I'm told that needs to step it up this year is with me. This is the actual race team. So are you all feeling any pressure? How are you feeling today? No pressure at all. And actually, it's the other teams that need to set this up. Because honestly, we got this thing wrapped up. So good luck to all the other teams competing for second place. So, okay, did you all get recruited? How did you get recruited to actually be part of the bed racing team? Uh, four best athletes of the company, pretty much. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and did you all practice at all? What kind of training went into this? Um, just a lot of Peloton riding and uh, just running, getting ready. That, that's about it, all I've done. So, okay, you're going to be in the bed steering, too. Are you scared that this crew is going to throw you off, or are you worried about that? No, i got full confidence in them. We're going to win. It's no big deal. Okay, okay, a lot of smack talk going on here. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, I mean, we've been watching some tapes. Uh, one important thing we need to know is if the trophy is about the same size, so we have space on our shelf for it. Um, but I think we're ready. Uh, we got the best team of athletes out there. Uh, we're going to come out here and uh, win the trophy we haven't won yet. Any message that you have to the other teams you all are going to be racing against? Good luck. Good luck. All right, simple enough. So that tailgating happens at 4 o'clock, and then the actual racing gets going at 7 o'clock, and they'll be crossing the finish line pretty fast. But for now, reporting live at Zeon, Olivia Russell, Wave News. Brian, good thing this is an indoor event because it's been raining on us this morning. You didn't tell me about that. We'll be watching that as we head throughout the uh, the morning hours here. The next 12 hours is going to be featuring certainly a uh, wet scenario for us. Temperatures will be only into the 50s. Wind advisories out for much of wave country starting at noon today all the way to 8 p.m. But at the moment, it's that steady rain right now, that cold wind that makes it a little rough when you head out the door. So dress appropriately and make sure the kids are ready as well. Much more on the Derby Week outlook coming up after the break. Thanks, Brian. Coming up, we're going to be talking to some people who visited the historic Churchill Downs track for the first time this weekend during opening night. I know a lot of people had a bunch of fun over the weekend. Yes. Yeah. We'll talk to one woman who this was her first time. We'll be right back. And I'll... Your Money on Wave News is sponsored by First Savings Financial Group. The latest local news and the most accurate forecast on Wave News at 7 with Dawn and Ryan. The only local news and weather at 7 p.m. The Cherry House Furniture Gallery's spring into saving sale is here. Save 45% off MSRP on all of the furniture in our store. We have the quality, styles, and selection you want. Come see us at Cherry House Furniture Galleries in LaGrange.
This commercial is 15 seconds long. That's less time than it takes for a strong gust of wind, a falling tree branch in a storm, or a large chunk of hail to damage your roof. When weather hurts your home, call the company that sees service differently. Services, roofing, gutters, and siding. This is the 2023 Nissan Rogue. With a surprisingly fuel-efficient VC turbo engine. You can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. Or get a low $379 per month lease on Rogue. Hey you, Louisville, did you know Windows Direct's bath division? My Last Bath has completed over 1,200 projects. You can go from this to this in as little as one day. Right now, get 50% off installation. Get payments as little as $74 per month. And as a bonus, get your shower door absolutely free. Whether it's windows, baths, or doors, choose your locally owned friends at Windows Direct USA. Now is the time to enhance your home during the Cherry House Furniture Gallery's Spring into Savings Sale. Save 45% off MSRP on all of the furniture in our store. Come to Cherry House Furniture Galleries in LaGrange. This isn't just a truck. It's a get you ready, storm or shine, absolute unit on wheels. Our storm tracker on the road as it heads into the storm. A down to the detail, capture it all, storm tracking machine. That's a live feed from the storm tracker. Built to keep you safe. We helped push her car out of the water. With tools like live onboard radar, 360 degree live streaming cameras, giving you a real time view of what's happening now. The Wave Storm Tracker, sponsored by Oxmoor Ford. every time with Kentucky Five, the new daily draw game where you match five numbers to win. Kentucky Five, your five numbers could be the one. Practicing auto accident law for over 20 years, I have been fortunate enough to have a lot of great clients, people that have referred their family and friends to me. Jim's just been great, answers the phone, prompt, but make sure my questions are answered. I mean, I don't know how you could choose anyone else. You're just a great guy. Call me, Attorney Jim Desmond, today. This newscast is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. There's only one. This is Wave News Sunrise. And welcome back to Sunrise at the Downs, where a lot of these horses are getting their workouts despite the chill, despite the rain. I think a lot of them are loving it. The jockeys, that's a question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cool. It's Certainly a little bit it cool, is. But you're also starting to see, if in the distance in that shot, the beginning of what could be a pretty interesting sunrise as well. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that for this morning. Now, I don't know if you picked up any hobbies during the pandemic. I picked up crocheting. I picked that back up. But then there was one particular sculptor who was just like, you know what, I'm going to do something special. And it is incredible. And this morning, Kathleen Ninke and Josh Ninke are speaking with him live. This huge, life-size, gorgeous steel sculpture of Secretariat, America's Horse. And we have the artist with us right now, Nigel Fennell. Thank you for having me. Of course. Originally from England, now you live outside the Lexington area, and you decided to build a gigantic Secretariat from a bunch of mini Secretariats. That's correct. That's what you made his skin from. Yep. How many hours did it take, start to finish, and was it more than you expected it was going to be? 1,360 hours to be exact. I mean, <laughs> it did take longer than expected, but um, I was committed, so I had to see it through. Yeah, and where did you start? How, how did you begin to build this impressive piece of work? As a professional fairer, as a horseshoer, I started with the feet and the shoes, because yeah. it's something I know, and then I literally built him from the feet up to the legs. Up to his body frame, he has a thousand or eleven hundred feet of body frame under that skin. So everything you see is ev because of everything you can't see, and that was all that body frame. And then put those, all those thousands of mosaics, and followed the lines of the body cage. And what you also did was follow the exact measurements yep. of Secretariat, but also Secretariat's jockey at the Derby, Ron Turcott. Can you take me through this process of how you managed to get all of these measurements of both these living beings involved? <laughs> So from the veterinary report of Secretariat when he last raced, I had that report from his sizes, and then I was um, very fortunate to get John Court, the great jockey. Um, he came and sat on the sculpture for me so I could get some proportions and pictures, and he's the same size as Ron Turcott, so he gave me the blueprint to build Ron. And you have Secretariat 
in motion and the jockey himself sort of in motion. Why was it important for you to show Secretariat as he was most truly alive, I suppose? To, to capture that moment of the Belmont Stakes when he looked back at the field of 31 lengths, obviously in a time of 2.24, which we've titled the piece. So that I wanted to capture that image uh, from that special moment that still resonates 50 years on to a record that he still holds. And, and Nigel, folks want to see this. Uh, where is it at and, and, and why is it uh, where you have to look at it? It is at the Kentucky Horse Park at the International Museum of the Horse and the Lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, they invited him actually, so it was a true honour for him to be invited at the park and for everyone to enjoy him at this momentous year that everyone's going to be celebrating. The, this pandemic hobby <laughs> that you happen to pick up, right. America's horse, that you and Englishman happen to decide, you know, know. what, let's, let's do this. Uh, real quick, before we go, this is your first time at Churchill Downs. You're going to pop in for Donna for Downs. See I am, yeah. I'm going to go and see some horses moving that are real. <laughs> right, um, right. Yeah, but yeah, maybe you'll see someone <laughs> that will inspire your next project. Probably. That's how it happens, I yeah. think. Okay. Nigel Fennell, barrier sculptor, thank you so much for joining us thank here at Churchill this morning. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Shannon Tawana, back to y'all. All right, thanks so much. Well, of course, many people love Derby Week for all of the mm -hmm. fabulous parties, especially all the galas <laughs> on Friday night. And this guy right here, he's hosting a big one. This is Steve Wilson. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good. Tell us all about this. Okay, well, you know, we always have a Derby Eve party at the yes. NC Museum Hotels. And this year, we're having what's being called the, a drag circus. Ooh. And you're the ringmaster. I am yes. the ringmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we, uh, Anthony Pudrowski is coming from Queer Eye, and uh, Macy Gray is going to be singing. Oh wow! And we invited the outlawed drag queens from Tennessee to come and perform in Kentucky. Oh, that's terrific! Wow. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I think so. This sounds like a good party. So for people who are like, I want to be a part of this. How? Okay, well you can go. <laughs> You can go to stevesderbyeve.com mm -hmm. and buy tickets. It's in. It's uh, helping out the uh, ACLU. Oh, great! Right. American Civil Liberties. We're mm -hmm. celebrating mm -hmm. your right to come as a drag queen or as a clown or whatever you whatever want. You want. So, you, so the attire can be whatever you dream up. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, how much are ticket prices? Three hundred and fifty dollars. And then, and again, some of the proceeds goes to the ACLU. ACLU. That's right. That's true. Now, uh, you're also a huge horse racing fan. Uh, you have some horses of your own. Yes. Uh, but we were talking uh, derby talk, and you love Tappet Trice. I do love Tappet Trice. And Most fact, expensive horse in the field. You have good taste. <laughs> 1.3 I, million. Oh my, I didn't remember that, but uh, I'm really excited because uh, Hermitage Farm. Uh, we have a, a mare, a Mazima, being bred mm -hmm. to the same fire this year. Oh, so wow. We're very excited about Tappet Trice. Yeah, when is that going to happen? Do you know? Uh, I, I think it's happening as we oh, speak. Oh, right, well, right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to see the video of that, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How wonderful. What about for Oaks? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I don't have a favorite there yet. Just yet. Yeah. I think what, the, Oaks, the Oaks, well, you know what? I haven't really picked one yet. The Oaks race is a little tough, I think, uh, to, to pick a favorite right yeah. now. Yeah. I use, I'm so busy on my getting ready for our Derby mm -hmm. party that I'm not, often I don't go to the Oaks. But mm -hmm. Lordy, my wife's going, and we have some guests coming from New York, and uh, mm -hmm. we're excited about the week. Well, last mm -hmm. year, uh, people were so excited about your party because you had the one and only Jack Harlow who popped in and uh, so you guys are like hanging out now huh you and well, Jack Jack's a friend you know I love Jack for most of all the reasons we all do but mm -hmm. you know he sang a song about 21 C. oh I know mm -hmm. yeah and I saw and you the, were at the concert I was at the concert yeah. and um, I actually went to a studio and and sang the 21 C song Oh, I want to hear Wait, it. Hold on, is that a... Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, on my, it's on my Instagram. Oh, well, I love check that. it out. Well, my check Instagram out. is Steve Red Glasses. Oh, well, I know. I follow you. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Steve Wilson, thank you so much for waking up early and coming on and putting on this dapper outfit. You should yes. see the pants. Literally amazing. It's awesome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah. See you okay. Friday night. Yes, yes. <laughs> And we're going to continue sunrise at the Downs here. The backside of Churchill Downs as the morning continues. That's what I was Ooh, talking about pretty. at the beginning of a beautiful sunrise. But don't forget, we are dealing with a little bit more of that light rain and drizzle across the area right now. So we'll talk more about that. The horses, everything coming up as the week goes along. After the break. Thanks,
Here's a look at the current Kentucky Lottery jackpots. The Kentucky Lottery, over $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. Your 10-day earliest alert forecast on WAVE is sponsored by Services Roofing, Gutters, and Siding. Positively WAVE is how we're building community. People are helping all over the country. Focused on the good. And I appreciate you guys so much for helping. Thousands of families who have trusted the Zero Res experts to achieve an insanely clean and healthy home. For a limited time, enjoy this special offer. Schedule today at ZeroResLouisville.com. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. It's time to spring forward in a new Toyota, the most forward-thinking vehicles on the road, with the best resale value of any brand. Leading the way is the aggressively sophisticated Highlander with room for the whole gang. And it's built in the USA. During Toyota's Spring Forward event, you can get 3.99 APR financing on a new Highlander with two years no-cost maintenance included. Spring forward in a new Toyota now. Toyota, let's go places. Visit the James B. Bean Distilling Company May 4th through 6th for a weekend full of special tasting experiences, live music, food, and cocktails. Join master distillers Fred and Freddie No celebrating horse racing in Kentucky. Go to beamdistilling.com for tickets. A slow drain is a key sign your sewer might need to be replaced. Many companies will charge a ton and tear up your yard in the process. At Vessels Plumbing, we can replace your sewer without digging, provide a 50-year guarantee, and save you thousands. Call Vessels Plumbing for a free second opinion. Brian Schlonsky here with Scott Waldman of R&B Luxury Bath. Hey, for a limited time, we're offering $2,000 off your luxury bath project, plus great financing. If your bathroom's outdated, act now and get this special offer. Call R&B for your free estimate and have your bathroom installed next week. Tease Trees is Louisville's trusted choice for tree trimming, removal, and land clearing. We go to great heights for your satisfaction with 24-hour emergency service. Get your trees trimmed now. Tease Trees. We trim trees and prices. I'm John Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Pound Law. That's all. You filming? Yep. Try rolling your wrist, dude. You've got to focus on balance. You should switch to sledding. I'm going to block him. Good idea. Don't forget the stick work. Muscles paying off. Welcome back to Sunrise at the Downs as we're watching the sun rising. The layer of clouds overhead as we're keeping an eye on everything in terms of Oaks and Derby contenders. They're not quite out on the track just yet, but we are keeping an eye on it. Tawana Andrew here with you. And, of course, we're keeping an eye on everything as we move closer to the Derby, including the celebration of one very, very special horse, Secretariat, and even... His offspring, Shannon Cogan, talked to some pretty cool experts about this. He was America's horse after his historic racing career. Secretariat went to stud in 1974 and sired officially 663 foals. That's a small number for a stallion these, these days. Patricia McQueen just released this book called Secretariat's Legacy. She's followed his career and his stallion career for nearly her whole life. Often got a bad rap as a stallion and they always expected him to reproduce himself, which was impossible. He was a once-in-a-lifetime horse, once in a once in an eternity horse. After all, Big Red, as he was called, had a heart twice the size of an average horse. He did sire Lady Secret, nicknamed Iron Lady, who won Horse of the Year in 1986 and joined her daddy in the Hall of Fame, and Risen Star, who won the Preakness and Belmont in 1988. He won it by almost 15 lengths. 
and in a time that was then second only to his daddy. It's still the third fastest time, the third fastest time in the history of the Belmont. So he did his sire proud when he won that race. Just two of his first generation offspring are known to be alive today. One is 34 year old trusted company. She's still pretty healthy, knock on wood. Yeah. We spoke to the founder of Bright Futures Farm in Pennsylvania, who provided company, as she calls her, a new home when her owner's circumstances changed. She says company loves her best friend, catch this tea, carrots and cookies, and has her own Facebook page. She has a huge following. People um, send her cookies and um, treats and birthday cards. So she's just a celebrity, and I never had any idea that she would mean so much to so many people. And once I found out that she did, then, you know, it just, it made me appreciate her that much more. The other is Maritime Traveler, now 33, living on a Florida farm. Three of Secretariat's grandsons went on to become impressive sires, APND, Stormcat, and gone west. There are a lot of pedigrees today, which means so is Secretariat. But he did a lot better than people gave him credit for. And we will continue to celebrate Secretariat's legacy on Wednesday. That is going to be Champions Day, when everyone is encouraged to wear blue and white. Now, Brian Gidge, you're out the rail right now, and the 10 day is super important as we get closer to Oaks and Derby Day. Oh, absolutely. It's a crucial uh, forecast of the entire year, right? Hey, again, that look at sunrise in the distance. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the contrasting clouds and the little bit of the uh, twilight trying to show up there. Beautiful setup. All right, let's show you that 10 day because we are going to be dealing with at least off and on drizzle today. We've got an improving setup though starting tomorrow into Champions Day and Thurby, but then later Thurby into Oaks, there is our light rain chance coming into play with temperatures generally in the 60s right around 70. But if this system starts to crumble away, which looks to be the case as we head into Oaks night into Derby, that would then allow temperatures to spike back up again into the 70s. Wouldn't that be a perfect scenario. It's going to be down to the wire, no pun intended, on that one, so we'll take it one step at a time. But today it's all about the wind, wind advisories in effect. We'll be talking more about that coming up as sunrise at the Downs on this first day of May comes back here in about three minutes. Stay with us. If you're hurt, give me a call. It's free, and we believe we can help. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. When it's hot outside and your air conditioner isn't working, it's a pain. CNL Heating and Air will make the process easy and save you money. Now through Wednesday, get a brand new air conditioner from CNL for only $3,400, and financing is available. Call me on my cell phone today. Is this your house cleaner? At MadePro, your home will receive an exceptional cleaning from our highly skilled, trained, and well-paid pros. And likely, just a fraction more than you're already paying. I've been really impressed with the workers at MadePro. They pay so much attention to detail. They are just professionals. You spent a lot of your time affording your home. Let us come and help you maintain it just so you can enjoy your home. That's what we're all about. Call MadePro today. For your free estimate. Honest Abe Roofing offers 24-hour emergency repair services and our Invest Once guarantee, which means you'll never roof again. Enjoy a convenient roofing experience with Honest Abe Roofing, the reliable roofer. Experience the adrenaline-pumping, suspense-filled action of the sport of kings no matter where you are with Naira Vets. It's fast, easy, and secure. Download the app today and start winning with our lucrative weekly promotions, thrilling handicapping contests, and a one-of-a-kind VIP rewards program. Don't just watch horse racing. Be a part of the action with Naira Vets. I wasn't able to do something that I love because of my foot pain. I wasn't able to go on hikes. I got these arch supports years ago, and they are still really helping and still making such a difference. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store.
This is the 2023 Nissan Rogue. With a surprisingly fuel-efficient VC turbo engine, you can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models or get a low $379 per month lease on Rogue. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. This morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. Good morning, everyone. A beautiful shot of Churchill Downs right now from our SkyTrack camera as we look to, of course, begin this wonderful Derby week. The 149th running of the race of the Church Kentucky Derby is going to be this week, and a lot of people are gearing up for it for this morning. And there's a little bit of some droplets on that camera there as we're starting off this morning. It's cool, it's chilly, it's windy out here this morning as we are starting off a marvelous Monday. Tawana Andrew here with you this morning. Shannon Kogan is running around Churchill Downs with a pretty interesting interview coming Coming up in just a bit, but first, let's go to meteorologist Brian Good with a check of the weather. And I know you're a little bit damp right now. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Seems to be the theme lately, right? I'm always seems like getting caught in all the windy and rainy days here. As of late, the rain has stopped right now. Only just a couple of drops at best here at Churchill Downs. Beautiful sunrise. Uh, not too far away, but what a gorgeous setup. In the distance, of course, the clouds stuck over us at the moment. And the big story today is also going to be the windy scenario. In fact, the gusty wind scenario is one of the bigger issues with a wind advisory. It's going to be out officially at about noon today all the way to about 8 p.m. we're looking at for the wind advisory, roughly around Louisville, all the way to about uh, 8 p.m. it looks like, all the way along I-64, I should say. A gust 35 to 40 you bet will certainly be possible. Right now, about 20 to 25. It's been the general rule. It's eased a bit, actually, in the past five to 10 minutes, which isn't too bad. But still, you got to keep in mind with the gusty wind with temperatures in the 40s, adds a bit of a chill factor to the air, as you might imagine. Now, the radar has been showing just a bit of light rain and patchy area drizzle passing across the uh, I-64 corridor. It's sinking to the south. Now, I do think we will see more begin to develop as we hit throughout the day. So we're not done with this, but this is the first teaser round, if you will, of it moving through. The heaviest of that, a more of a steady rain, actually, right across uh, Highview, Oklahoma, over toward areas of Built Town Road at, uh, for this morning there. So the next 12 hours will feature a, a low rain chance, but again, it's mainly going to be light, patchy rain is what we're talking about. Wind advisories out, temperatures generally staying into the 50s throughout much of the day, and that 10-day is already showing temperatures into the 60s and 70s as we head toward Oaks. And Derby Day, but there is a rain chance for Oaks. I'm going to go into more detail on that and what that could mean as you plan out this uh, infamous week of the year for us here in Wave Country coming up in just a few more minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the magic of TV. No, trust me, I completely understand you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on those morning loads as we continue throughout the week as well. I and mean, of course, we've been talking a lot about Oaks and Derby, but we have a couple of awesome events happening throughout this week well before we even get to that and of course Olivia Russell is going to be talking to some of the contenders with of course the bed races later on tonight I love that DeLorean behind you Olivia <laughs> hey good morning Tawana yeah they did such a great job with this bed right here of course the theme for the bed races this year is through the decades so what a better way to do that than Back to the Future. So I've got to ask you all, you, you have great costumes, first of all. How many times have you watched Back to the Future to get ready for this? Oh, we've, we've watched it plenty of times just to get ready for this this time. <laughs> I watched it once just this weekend. Okay, just touch up on, <laughs> exactly. you know, your memory. Yes. <laughs> great Scott Marty, there you are! Have you went through time to find the fastest runners there is? Because today, if we do not win... Space-time continuum will be changed forever. Xeon <laughs> chemicals must win for the bets. Yes, Doc, we got them, Doc. We brung them back in time for you. Good, I must go. I see Einstein running over there. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you all clearly have...
have done your research here, and you all are winners with the best tailgate in the past, too. Are you going to keep it going this year? Absolutely. We have a dance contest at 4.30 at our tailgate with prizes, so we're hoping everybody comes over and joins us. Okay. Since you all are winners in the past, you told me you're not giving away any secrets. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Took us three years to learn the secrets. Can't give them away. Okay, so I guess you all are just going to have to check out their tailgate, check out their bed at the bed races. So that tailgate starts at 4 o'clock, and those races get rolling at 7 o'clock. And we're going to carry it live here on Wave News. So they're inviting you all out. So go back to the future with them. Reporting live is on Olivia Russell, Wave News. Thanks, Olivia, and we're back to the present right now, of course. And now we're going to go over to Shannon Cogan, who has a really special interview with Brad Cox. He basically has a good chunk of the field for Derby. Shannon, I know a lot of people are paying close attention to his horses this year. Hi, we're so excited to be coming to you from Brad Cox's barn. I'm joined by Brad. I mean, you have three Oaks contenders, four Derby contenders. You grew up right here by Churchill Downs. I mean, how thrilling is this for you? Well, it's a lot of work right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. We've got a great team, obviously very good horses, and uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, you know, have a good weekend. Uh, a lot of work goes into this, and obviously a lot of preparation and looking forward to hopefully getting the week started off right Friday. Yeah, we have Angel of Empire right here. Lee, I want to get a little look. She's, and he's not giving us his best side at this point um, because... <laughs> He's going to go out uh, right on the track here in a couple minutes. Brad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's going to go out and jog here in about 15, 20 minutes. He's going to have an easy day today. He had an easy day yesterday. He breezed on Saturday. So, um, you know, after today, he'll start back with his routine gallops. Make a trip over to the paddock. Um, also, uh, you know, school and the starting gate uh, once this week. Um, is it hard when you have so many horses in the big race? No, nah, not really. I mean, we've got a lot of help, great help, and uh, that's what it ultimately comes down here. It's wet paint. Right oh, now. This is the Oaks favorite. Favorites for the Kentucky Oaks. Uh, obviously, a really good Phillies coming in off three straight victories. She'll go out uh, during the Oaks um, Derby training at 730. But uh, very nice filly, obviously, and excited about her on Friday. She's beautiful. So your other two uh, fillies that you have in the Oaks are um, Botanical and then the Alice Look. Yeah. And then uh, here's Hit Show. We'll go out oh, here. Hit Show. Here's well. another Derby horse. Yeah, he's sticking his tongue out at you. <laughs> <laughs> he has his tongue out. Tell, what do you like about Hit Show here? Uh, yeah, he's he definitely should handle the mile and a quarter. He's had his last two runs have been a mile and an eighth. He he won um, his race in February and obviously was second in the Wood Memorial, beating just a nose. But very good horse, uh, mile and a quarter pedigree with a good trip. He should be. Um, he's he's a pretty nice horse. I feel like he's kind of flying under the radar. Um, but and a lot of people love the grays. Yeah. He's yeah. Really and you also have uh, Verifying, um, and the Verifying's uh, sire is Justify, of course, right. uh, a horse. That, and this is the, the first offspring, I think, in the Derby, yeah. right? Yeah, this would be the, the This is Verifying. Opportunity Justify could have a starter in the Derby, first year, I should say. And uh, this is uh, Verifying. He's obviously going to go out as well here shortly. Um, gonna, they're they're going to uh, just jog. All, all the Derby horses will jog this morning right before, around... 6.50, uh, 7 o'clock, they're just going to jog an easy mile today, and uh, they'll return to galloping tomorrow. Well, you've had such an incredible career. Um, when you think about it, your first derby was two years ago, mm -hmm. and then last year you ended up winning with Mandaloon after uh, that uh, disqualification. Yeah, so um, you really need to be in the winner circle after the derby, not finding out months later, right? Yeah, no doubt. The, the whole thing with the derby's experience, it's the thrill of victory, right? Like, obviously, the whole world's watching, and, uh, you know, the derby's not the biggest purse in, in America, the British Cup Classic is, but it's just the thrill of the victory, I would say. I haven't experienced it yet. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, Saturday, we'll see how it goes. Well, you have a really good shot with four horses in the Kentucky Derby, three in the Oaks, and you've won that uh, two of the last five times, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and like I said, I think we've got a good hand this year with three really, really good Phillies. So excited about that race on Friday. All right. Well, Louisville's own Brad Cox, we're so proud of you. Uh, thank you so much for showing us your horses this morning. Yeah. Thanks, Shannon. Yeah, back to you guys. Thanks, Shannon. Love to see what he has going on. And of course, going to be keeping a close eye on that next 12 forecast <laughs> over there as we're watching, of course, the wind advisories in place for today as well. Brian, you need to scoot over a little bit more. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> a little bit that? more. A little bit I'm more. Right. I'm right. Over here. <laughs> there you over go. There. <laughs> over here. There you go. <laughs>
You can see me now. Thanks, Tuan. I appreciate it. Yes, the next 12 hours is going to feature temperatures into the 50s this afternoon. The drizzle, spotty drizzle, that will continue. The wind, not too bad at the moment, but it will get windier as the day continues much more. Um, what else to expect if we continue on to our Champions Day, Thurby Oaks, and of course the Kentucky Derby. When sunrise, the downs comes right back. Positively Wave is how we're building community. People are helping all over the country. Focused on the good. And I appreciate you guys so much for helping. Don't buy a pre-owned Honda unless Honda certified it. Drive with confidence knowing your engine, transmission, brakes, and more. Honda certified it. Plus, you get a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty covering your Honda certified pre-owned vehicle. Only at your local Honda dealer. Many people ask us at SNS Concrete how we get their jobs done so quickly. I'm Steve with SNS Concrete, and here's how. Our professional staff and size allows us to offer same week estimates with many jobs completed in just one day. Call SNS Concrete today. The nursing home was supposed to keep your loved ones safe, no exceptions. Even in extreme circumstances, the basic standards must be met, no excuses. Bed sores, broken bones, malnutrition, and dehydration are just some of the warning signs of a nursing home that's not doing what they're supposed to do. If you suspect your loved one is the victim of nursing home neglect, get Hughes and Coleman and get it done. Call 800-800-4600. The safety of your loved one is all that matters. Are allergies raining on your parade? At Family Allergy and Asthma, our board-certified allergists create personalized treatment plans that clear up your symptoms and help you march on with a smile. Choose Family Allergy and Asthma and choose Relief. Federal Ammunition and KY Gunco are proud to host the first Kentucky Elk and Outdoor Fest, May 13th at KY Gunco in Bardstown, the official unveiling of Kentucky's Elk Draw winners. Limited tickets will sell fast. Go to KYOutdoorFest.com for tickets and more. When life happens, you call on family to support you. So when your home needs plumbing, heating, cooling, or electrical repairs, call the professionals at Mazer Master Services for whole home comfort and peace of mind. Our certified five-star technicians treat you like family and respect your home. We are committed to your home comfort, day or night. Right now, keep healthy and stay comfortable with $75 off any HVAC repair. Plumbing, heating, air, and electrical. Mazer. Make the call. Mazer.com. You want a guaranteed offer on your home and avoid the hassle and stress of listing? No showings or open houses. No inspections or repairs. Close when you want. You can even take the belongings you want and leave the rest. Contact J.P. Pirtle today for a guaranteed offer. When it has a 182-point inspection by factory-trained technicians, Honda certified it. When it has a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty, Honda certified it. Only when you buy a certified pre-owned Honda at your local Honda dealer, Honda certified it. Good morning, everyone. We are back for sunrise at the Downs as we continue through the beginning of this Derby week. Oh, look at those beautiful horses this morning as we're gearing up for more of those Oaks and Derby contenders to get out on the track on this chilly Monday morning. And I have a very special guest who... You are probably one of like the most amazing designers I've ever met. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you. So we have featured. I have a new best friend. <laughs> we have featured Melinda Christine oh. Moore, and you are going to be the amazing person that's going to be really taking care of Shannon and I in terms of our Derby yeah. Day hats. And Thanks. no, you cannot know what those are just yet. Oh, okay. But um, okay, but so I love this fascinator. I, I didn't know that. It it hasn't been revealed yet, so mm -hmm. they voted. So yes. now oh, this is the reveal. Yeah, so the reveal oh. is going to be coming up soon. So thank you there. Um, so we're going to be keeping an eye on everything going on as we look forward. So of course, so the big trends this year. What are they? What are you seeing? What do you think people are going to be uh, you looking know what? towards? You know, um, fashion is all over the place, and it's really about individual style. Mm -hmm. But the one thing you can follow is color, mm -hmm. and it's and I found that it's brights. It's 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 neon it's like um mm -hmm. it's the what people are showing um their personality through is really what color they're choosing like neon green bright yellow mm -hmm. um pink you know yeah. a lot of pink and for both oaks and derby oh, oaks yeah. and derby yeah and uh we have this absolutely gorgeous yellow in front of us if we come back to that this is probably like 
one of my favorite colors just to wear in general. So this oh, is kind of like a sunrise, basically. Yeah, and you know what? Oh, I love that, especially right now. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, what I what I found is a lot of people are afraid of yellow, but mm -hmm. most people actually look good in yellow. Mm -hmm. But and it depends on the tone of it, right? Yeah. But um, it's I think it's an underused color for sure. Okay. So in terms of what do you think the textures are going to be? Because yeah, we talk a lot about the color, but the textures as we head closer well, to Oaks and Derby, okay. the most fascinating. Hats. So I use natural fibers. So all of my all of my hats are our are, are own organic mm -hmm. cam hats, organic flowers. So it's all silk. But I also started using linen, which adds a different uh, texture to. It's a very interesting question because um, what you know the texture of a hat makes all the difference. It's mm -hmm. the quality of the fabric you start with, the materials you start with, which make a really fabulous item of anything okay. you know yeah. and what about this that i'm wearing here because okay. i am upset so again <laughs> we all we, we, you have to wait to see everybody's gonna have to wait to see what you're wearing because mm -hmm. um I can't, I can't reveal. But um, so this is our hand painted style. Mm -hmm. what a, we're known for hand painting detail into the hats. Whether um, and this is a fuse, our new fuse flower that can mold. But we also mm -hmm. have like our, our traditional silk flowers mm -hmm. that also are painted in for that extra detail. I just can't believe my 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 fans and my um, my my audience mm -hmm. has allowed me to do these detailed pieces yeah. um, and and loving it and pushing pushing my art further farther um, into the intricacy of uh, the design. So yeah. this one is like, ha this is um, outlined. This is a fascinator. I found that... Oh, did you paint that? That's beautiful. No, I'm a fascinator <laughs> lover and you are... Yes. yes. We painted in here, painted in here. Mm -hmm. But um, what, what I've seen is more hats are selling right now, mm -hmm. but the fascinator is like my favorite style and I think it's really easy to wear and it it packs a wow right away. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, um, I, you know, it's whatever your personality is. Mm -hmm. And it'll be interesting to see what happens as uh, when people realize that the coronation is also mm -hmm. Saturday that morning. Day, yeah. And I think we're going to see more Fascinator sales in the next couple days. I love that. I love that. And thank you for being with us this morning. Oh. I absolutely love seeing you again. Oh, that's now, so the question is, Brian, good. Which one of these is your color? Uh. <laughs> Hmm. I like the I like the yellow you have. You have the yellow, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good I'm the yellow. <laughs> My mom always said it looked good in yellow, and mom's always right, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Uh, beautiful hat, so beautiful hats. All right, we got a nice, beautiful sunrise trying to form. Again, we're looking more north, so we'll see whether or not we can get some of these rays kind of scoot in our eastern counties. But unfortunately, as I look to the direction where most of our weather is coming from today, it's a mostly cloudy sky set up out there. All right, talk about headlines here for the day. We're talking about the wind advisory that is out roughly right around Louisville points to the east. This is mainly for the midday afternoon time period where we can see those wind gusts that could get up there. I would say close to 40 miles per hour at times. So keep that in mind as you make your plans here uh, throughout the day. There you can see the gusts. 35 to 40 is going to be the general trend we're talking about as we head throughout the midday afternoon hours. Uh, temperature outside right now right at 50. Don't expect this needle to move much at all today because of the clouds. And, of course, that gusty wind we've got, it's going to hold true for much of the day, it looks like. A lot of you in the 40s and 50s right now. We've got 48 in uh, Fort Knox area, 48 in Lebanon, down in Tarrant County. Same story, right around 48 degrees. It's hard to believe it's first day of May, right? All right, we are dealing with a lot of clouds on the radar. You see a little bit of green that's been showing up, indicating some of that very light rain, patchy showers, if you will, Roughly a lawn at south of 64. But notice a little patch near Salem where the sky is trying to break out. That's what we're seeing here behind me that's trying to form. But unfortunately, the clouds, any type of breaks today, clouds will just fill it right back in again and we'll end up with more of an overcast setup. Right now, your main batch of showers roughly around Taylorsville Lake, Fern Creek area, all the way to about Shepherdsville and Brooks, Kentucky, dealing with those light showers all the way into southern areas of Harrison County for this morning. Uh, this is all part of a bigger low pressure that's just taking its sweet time moving out of here. Now, once it gets away from us, or at least a little further away, period, it will take away the wind and also will clear the sky out. But this is going to be painfully slow to happen, so it'll take another 24 to 36 hours to get this completely out of the way. Futurecast has got a good handle on that. Show the trend of a lot of cloud cover. You see patches of green every once in a while rolling through. Thermometer doesn't warm much at all today. We should be in the 70s for the first day of May. Instead, we're talking about 50s for much of the area. Tomorrow, you'll see a little bit of a difference tomorrow because the clouds will begin to shift a little more northeast. Now we'll get into Thurby. 
clouds move back in. It's a whole other system now rolling in. This one also will bring with it a shower chance as we head into Oaks. Right now, the rain looks limited on how its intensity will likely appear. So right now, we're thinking it's a light rain, but it will be at least maxing out around Oaks Day itself and then fading out, hopefully, just in time for the big race. The run for the roses there coming up on Saturday. And if that happens, if it all times are right, we would end up with some sunshine and temperatures warming up. So your rain chance right now will have a spike there in Oaks Day, but we'll keep about 30 to 40 percent for now, and we'll see how the trends go over the next uh, couple of days. Still early, right? It's only Monday. Right now you can see temperatures going in 60s for Oaks, 75 right now as we're shooting for for Derby Day, and generally right around 80 or so as we hit into early for next week. All right, we'll keep an eye on this. We'll have more quotes on the uh, here this morning for sunrise of the downs as we watch those temperatures slowly warm to the east today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. So I'm back here on the set after visiting Brad Cox at his uh, barn with his four derby contenders, three oaks contenders, and he's going to be bringing them out on the track here, so we might be able to see them before uh, we send it off to the Today Show. Yeah, he said they're, they're going to just do a nice little trot out there. No galloping today, but maybe yeah. tomorrow. Possibly. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited to see all I know, the I know. contenders this year. Um, and then work, of course, keeping an eye on, on everything that happened, you know, 50 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Secretariat, a wonderful new Derby exhibit at the Derby Museum. And let's go to Josh and Kathleen Ninky with more. Hey, Shannon and Tawana. A lot of folks excited not just to see what's going on at the Derby Museum, but here for Dawn of the Downs, the line here is long. It's, we got a long line already. The, the gates aren't even open yet. We still have 10 minutes or so, <laughs> and yet plenty of people lined up, including Pam and Marilyn. Marilyn, you said this is your third trip to the track already this year. What, what are you watching for? Why have you been out so often? I didn't expect <laughs> just the racetrack people are wonderful, and this is the best thing going in town. So is this your first trip to Dawn at the Downs? Yes, it is. Okay, what are you looking forward to seeing? Um, horses running around. I am an Arabian horse and a quarter horse person okay. by background. Nice. So I just watch them run. Uh, it'll, it'll be a real treat to see that. And what it's a real treat to see also is your outfit. You've got plenty of stuff to show off here. What, yeah. what are you guys repping here? <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to wear horses of some kind. you got to look the part right there. So you right. both have your horse jewelry on. You we got do. yours at Wagner's. At Maryland. Wagner's, yeah. Maryland, you clearly have a favorite breakfast spot in Wagner's. Do you have a favorite course out there this year? No, not yet. Maybe 4K. I mean, it's hard to yeah. A lot of people, big fans. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe that one, day. but it'll, it may change between now and Saturday. What's special about watching the sun rise over Churchill Downs? Oh, you're going to know in a few minutes. <laughs> if it peeps through just a little bit, yeah. it'll it'll be fabulous out here. It's wonderful. So you're here to watch the sun rise any day. <laughs> We're grateful for it every single time, Martin. We will pay Marilyn, you are one of hundreds already out here this morning, ready to check out Dawn at the Downs, free through 10 a.m., and that's through Wednesday. Should be a lot of fun. We'll send things back to you, Shannon and Tawana. Thanks, guys. And coming up, we're going to be keeping an eye on everything going on as we're getting closer and closer to the run for the roses. We'll have more Sunrise at the Downs after the break. Corrigan Electric can help make sure your family is prepared when there are power outages and severe weather hits. Call Corrigan Electric today and ask about our Briggs & Stratton generator systems. You know us at Corrigan. Give us a call. The bloodline of these brothers is fearless and uncompromising. The fun, adventurous Tacoma, outselling everything in its class for 18 years. The legendary forerunner, proving itself off-road for four decades. The best-in-class Tundra. Designed and engineered in the USA and introducing the powerfully efficient Sequoia. All new from the ground up with technology and comfort for all. Toyota's four brothers. Sibling rivalry at its finest. Toyota. Let's go places. And they're off. He broke all the records in 1973. And in 2023, he still holds them. And the crowd goes wild. Fifty years later, and the legend that started in Louisville is coming home. Relive the story of Secretariat, only at Kentucky Derby Museum. 
hey, things are going to happen. But if something happens to your heating and cooling system, make sure you know who to call. We offer zero interest financing for 72 months. With Tempstar, enjoy quality you can feel. Again with these man children. Call Chapman Heating and Cooling now. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $6,500 off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Every time when you play Kentucky Five, the new daily draw game available only in Kentucky with a rolling jackpot you win if your five numbers match the five numbers drawn. Give me five, Kentucky. Funding more than $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. Corrigan Electric is the professional Kentuckiana electrical service contractor. If you have an electrical issue, you know it's a Corrigan. Give us a call. So welcome back. One of the big events happening today, the bed races. You can check that out here on Wave at 7 p.m. as all these teams go head-to-head -head on these homemade beds, <laughs> <laughs> racing to the finish line. Very different race than the one we're watching for Friday. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And then that all-important pill pull will take place at 2 o'clock today. We're going to find out where the Oaks and Derby horses will break from this Friday and Saturday. You can watch that live on Wave from 2 to 3 o'clock as we're here by the rail and uh, we know that some Derby and Oaks horses are going to be coming out about mm -hmm. 7.30 to 7.45 although Brad Cox is saying he's going to get his Derby horses out here. We don't see them yet yeah. but uh, lots of other horses. 1,200 of, total here on the back side. And speaking of the rail, that's an important thing. Who's going to come out near the rail in that draw? Mm -hmm. for that, I mean, that makes a big difference. Uh, it's in the favorites. Really, so usually really we get does. some surprises every year, so we'll be finding that out later on. Yeah. yeah. Well, it has been a fabulous morning out here, right? Yes. Thanks a for joining chilly, us. <laughs> a little chilly, but that's okay. I mean, you can't Just beat the this. The gorgeous twin spires, the beautiful horses. We're going to be out here all week. We hope you'll join us on Sunrise at the Downs. Have a great Monday. Get live streaming news, 24-hour weather, investigations, podcasts, and more. All for free with Wave Now. Watch on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and the Wave News app. Sponsored by Kaufman and Stigger and